Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about the secure software development lifecycle. So, let's begin. Security is an important part of any application that encompasses critical functionality. This can be as simple as securing your database from attacks by nefarious actors or as complex as applying fraud processing to a qualified lead before importing them into your platform. I already talk about the most popular software development lifecycle models in an old video. If you want to check it out, click on the i button. Now, to avoid costly errors that leave software development cycles loosely developed and vulnerable, you need specific guidelines, clear directions, task lists, and structure. This is where the secure software development lifecycle comes in. So, you may ask why it is important. Mainly, to protect the application. The days of releasing a product into the wild and addressing bugs in subsequent patches are gone. Developers now need to be cognizant of potential security concerns at each step of the process. Software projects done without a secure development lifecycle are open to threats and security risks. The secure development lifecycle makes sure the software system abides by the relevant estimated requirements. However, it may not work perfectly in cases where there is some degree of uncertainty. Now, let's discuss best practices for the secure software development cycle process. Number one is specify your requirements. It is vital to have precise requirements so that there is no difficulty in understanding what is created. For this reason, developers and their teams should have specific requirements that are easily executable. Vulnerabilities exposed during tests should be handled appropriately and immediately. Number two is that developers should be appropriately educated. The secure SDLC process requires specific knowledge from the developers involved. Developers should be appropriately educated on aspects like the creation of a secure coding guideline. Number three is maintain a growth mindset. Since secure software cycle will change how multiple teams work and interact, it's important for everyone to go into this experience with an open mind and for the security team to have the mindset of empowering developers to secure their own applications. Number four is focus on solving the big problems before others. The big problems are usually the more critical and demanding issues that need fixing. A good approach would be to focus on them instead of fixing all the project's threats or loopholes. This is especially helpful in applications or software that are bigger. Fixing newer and smaller issues in place of the big ones won't be feasible in that instance. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.